people settle down. So yesterday morning, I woke up to a flood of messages in Discord. Marco, have you seen this? Marco, have you seen this? Oh my goodness, have you seen this? And I am referring to the MetaHuman released, well, the teaser released by Unreal Engine. But Marco, how do you feel about it? Oh yeah? So there's a few interesting things that I've already kind of started thinking about. One is, is that I'm a huge fan of Reillusion. I love their suite, Character Creator 3, iClone, my Perception Neuron can hook into that. Um, all the assets, the motion library that I have, ev my workflows, you know, everything there is working fine. I understand that Unreal Engine have obviously MetaHuman that's coming out. They're going to have the Perception Neuron that's going to be flowing into me MetaHuman. Oh my goodness. And also I know that they've been developing their facial motion capture as well. But I'm a Blender channel, primarily Blender. So it's kind of like, what does that mean for me? Well, MetaHuman, I can't use in Blender. If you actually have a look at the asset licensing, um, there will be a link and it's probably a screenshot right now. You can only use Epic products in Unreal Engine. And of course, this is from my understanding, but even this Twitter comment, awesome. Can these be used in a personal project? What's the licensing or royalties if we would want to make a film for Netflix? Unreal Engine's response was absolutely MetaHuman is free to use with Unreal Engine. Game devs only pay 5% royalty once their game exceeds a million dollars. Fair enough. And no royalties, now this is interesting, are collected on Unreal Engine's use in film, television, live events, architecture, automotive, blah, 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 blah. So if you're putting all your eggs into one basket, so if you're now going to be Unreal Engine through through, yeah, maybe. But for me, this isn't going to take over. Um, you know, we're not going to be able to export these characters and put them into Blender, Maya, so on and so forth. The other interesting thing will be what kind of library is going to come with MetaHuman. Because, I mean, 3D characters, if I need clothes... By the way, I do wear a Mark on 3D shirt. You know what? I'm just going to put in the link if you want one. That's fine. I do have a jumper during winter, but it's summer at the moment and it's kind of like 25 degrees at midnight. So, so is it a game changer? I don't know. Yes, it'll probably open a few more doors to a few more people. But for those who aren't character artists like me, because I have no intention of creating characters, it all depends on how you're going to be using these characters. So if you're going to be using them all in Unreal Engine for games or moving TV, yeah, maybe the best way to go. But it's going to be interesting to see how it actually operates when the actually the full version is released. For now, I've quickly opened it up and I saw that it kind of ran like a dog for me. Mind you, my machine isn't the best. It's a Ryzen 3900X and I'm only running a 1080. I'm waiting for my 3080, but I live in Australia and, you know, stuff takes forever to get here. For me, though, if I were to go down this route, it is a whole nother workflow to learn again. Because now I think we might even have to be concerned about animation blueprints and that kind of jazz. I'm not entirely sure about that. That could be just in the game dev space. Um, I don't know how these characters are going to be reacting to the current animations. I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume that you can use the current motion library that Unreal Engine has. It's the same body as the mannequin system. I don't know. But will I be keeping an eye on it? Yeah, I will be. I am semi-interested to see what happens. But at the end of the day, I'm going to continue using Reillusion because... You know, I love the product. And like I've already said, it's inbuilt into my workflows. Um, and I can use them into Blender, which is more important. So if you want to see some of the films that I've created, you can jump over to Deadset Digital. Pretty much all the short films are only about a minute long. So if you can, just, just jump over there, watch a few, like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Helps you out, not really. Might give you a bit of a laugh because some of them are pretty silly. But some of them make you think. And let me know if my opinion actually changed yours or made you think a little bit more, because that's really, I'm really interested to know what you guys have got to say about my views. So have a good evening and I will talk to you guys later.